Hi, I'm Mark Sacco, and I'm here with a Mitsutoya Quick Vision Active Machine, and I'm going to show you how to set the lights. So let's get into it. All Vision machines have at least one light source. All Quick Vision machines have three light sources what we call stage light, coax light, and ring light. Stage light is light that illuminates from underneath the part through the glass stage. Coax light is light that shines straight down through the objective lens, illuminating the surface of the part. Ring light is light that illuminates the surface of the part as well, but shines from an angle coming from around the objective lens. Some quick vision machines can also adjust the angle of the ring light. So lighting on quick vision machines is controlled by the light control tab, which you see here. And notice there are several slide bars here. The first one controls stage light, as you see here. Then there's a slide bar for coax light and four slide bars for ring light. That's because the ring light is divided into four quadrants and each slide bar controls a single quadrant. Or with this checkbox, all four quadrants can be turned on at the same time. Lighting is critical on a vision machine for getting an accurate measurement. Too much light or too little light can actually affect the measurement. Contrast is key for getting an accurate measurement. The more contrast that's visible, like in this example, the more accurate the measurement will be. Quick Vision has three light sources. So the question always comes up, which light source is best to use? And it's actually very simple. If stage light can be used, use stage light because that will give the best contrast. Like in this example, this is a through hole, so stage light is the best option. Coax light and ring light should be used where stage light isn't able to be used. For example, a blind hole or a step on a workpiece. In that case, Typically, if it's a three-dimensional feature, ring light is usually better, and coax light is usually better for flat surfaces. But sometimes experimentation has to be done to determine if coax light or ring light should be used. Once you know which light source to use, now the question becomes how bright to make the light. Again, as I mentioned before, light intensity, where it's too bright or too dark, can have an impact on the accuracy of your measurement. Fortunately, QVPAC has tools that could assist with this. The first being saturation. So if I turn on saturation, what happens is any pixels that are too bright turn red. So in this case, as I increase the magnitude of the light, I get more red pixels. This saturation function can be used to set the proper light intensity simply by turning down the light. Once the red pixels are gone, this is the proper light intensity to use. In addition to saturation, QVPAC also includes the lighting wizard, which will set the lights automatically for you. So simply click on the wizard and then just answer the questions and the lights will be set automatically. In this case, I have a curved edge. Click next. I have to define which edge I'm looking for the lighting to be set. Click next again. And pretty much always choose the closest edge, which is the default. And then what happens is the lighting wizard will cycle through each light source at different intensities and determine which light is best to illuminate the edge that you picked. And here you see it picked the best light source and the best light intensity for the best contrast for this edge. Another tool included with QVPAC is Dual Area Contrast. This tool will insert a command into the program unlike the other lighting adjustment tools. What that means is when the program is run, the lighting will automatically be set with every program run. To use Dual Area Contrast, simply start a measurement, choose the Dual Area Contrast tool, and then place the two boxes across the edge that you want to set the light automatically. In other words, one box should be in the dark area, one box should be in the light area. And then simply click Run to execute the tool. In my case, I will turn the stage light completely off first so that we could see the light change. Then click Run and you can see the light is set automatically. 
So that's a quick explanation of how to set lighting on the Quick Vision Active. For more how-to videos like this one or for other information, go to mitstoy.com.